And this video is created by Dorpatan. Dorpatan. Um, and let me see here. Unplug the earphones. I had to like replay this video several times to see what he was saying here because he said stuff so fast. I was like, what? So. Simply put, Platonic Universe, the argument falls apart at premise two, as it's a bare assertion of fallacy since it is not logically supported by the antecedent premise. So, what you're essentially saying is that the second premise is an assertional fallacy because it's not supported by the first premise. Well, that just shows you don't fully understand logic, and this goes com uh, very well with what we are learning in logic today. So the basic question of logic is, given the premises and the conclusion, does one follow from the other? Essentially, you can say, does phi, that's phi, follow from psi? And phi is a placeholder for the premises of the argument, whereas psi is the holder for the conclusion of the argument. So it really does not matter whether or not one premise falls from another. It matters whether the premise set, that is all the premises, or it matters that the conclusion follows from the premises. Because the the universe, at the creation of the universe, uh, time was created, space was created, and um, material was created. Therefore, it logically follows that the cause of the universe existed before space, before time, before material, and so forth. Um, so this thing that created the universe has to be immaterial, timeless, and spaceless. And whatever that thing is, it could be a giant computer, it can be a banana, not logically, but you can conceive of something like that. And it will still be defined as God, because it has the attributes of God. So, I don't, I mean, I guess I do understand why you thought that the, that, that video was a good rebuttal, but I hope this video enlightens you a little bit.